back as you can look. Africans used to travel freely before slavery. There is no way that Jamaica is born out of a slavery. Black people did free to go anywhere. That's why we became neighbors with Cuba and Haiti. It's not a coincidence. Stop making them fool with a man and just look upon the literalness of who there were 10 tribes that was brought to Jamaica. But look it up. The 10 tribes, they have names that came here on the slave ships. These are the 10 tribes that are among us now that we are fighting among each other. They separated us as soon as we landed here, or those because me never come here for no slave ship. Now, born free black woman, me don't know what it feel like to be no slave, and the legacy that me come from. The Jamaican will not take no talk from no slave master. See, in every world going at the world, them fear because they know say, the Jamaican black people, them. Eighty. Follow us and rebel is book man left here go help eat it. Go check on the history of Jamaica. The reason why Marcus Garvey was so famous in those days when there wasn't no Twitter, no Instagram, no Facebook, no Meta. Marcus Garvey went to America and had millions of black people uniting. You know why? Because of the legacy that he left Jamaica with. The island that was known to overthrow colonialism. How we praising colonialism now. What we doing. We cannot give up like this Jamaican people. I remember me tell you. They would have loved to see where I ran. And I burn some big split. And I fall over myself. But we love life. Jamaica people love life. We love style. We love fashion. We love the children. Then Jamaican man love them woman. Real Jamaican woman love them man. What this we come to? What is happening to us as a people? Why the world looking on and wondering what's happening in Jamaica? They know what's happening here. They know what's happening here. But what they did, they sieved us out. They sieved out the resistance. They know the resistance. If they are in car, you don't know. You can't kill culture. You can't try to change it. You can't kill culture. And Jamaica culture go always be Jamaica culture. I mean, just a big me Jamaican people. They're my children who want to spread division. But I have some things where I have to go talk to the public so that the public can understand what is Queen Africa, a.k.a. Serendipity, role in this war. And every black woman or every woman or man, for that matter, that's watching this live tonight, I want you to go look up the word serendipity and see what you get. Because I am at that point, because I dig that deep to find out what I'm going with my country. And no matter how they try to hide me, <laughs> you can't hide Jamaica. <laughs> I want to know one. We don't do talking and do things with the things, man. We don't want no more blood this time. So we just want, you know, we just know that Jamaica will never bow, no matter what stage you come to, and any organization, me they all look. If nobody else now look, any organization will come to them and come to rescue Jamaica. If you don't know real and genuine, you don't know how to let you in. And bro, God, you yeah, take it for granted. And Miss Golden, you yeah, act little too, sir. 
make sure we don't know how to do because God not sleeping and the ancestors them blood are boil. Let me say, the ancestors them blood are boil. So all who are on air right now listening to what I'm saying, I know you are the chosen. I know you know the truth. Those who have left at the end of the way, I look for Sus. <laughs> gonna soon get Sus, man. As Sus on the light, gonna soon get Sus. But those no say that now nah, I'm gonna stop the fire from burn here. <laughs> Jamaica is worth fighting far, you know. Not just talking far, but walking far. You see what I say? Yeah. And we will never stop standing up for this island because this island is too rich. What we have as a people is too rich for our young people to be so distorted and just feel like violence and the way they and the lewdness they and the I, I, I just the way there. I'm mean, gonna tell you again, me not care when nobody wants to lose half of my fellow artists them. My artists them have to come care with own fans them and come show them everybody gonna take side with the system, cut them like a piece and over this I call we chatterbox over here. <laughs> See me don't know why they're afraid of me so <laughs> I don't know why they're afraid. It's like me you know, in the industry, like, where's Queen Africa? Why we prefer she was stay around this one? <laughs> she nah look no friend from the system. Me nah look no friend from the system. Me want Jamaica people unite and come together and march pandemic. them. I me mean, not march with no, with no undercover New World Order government. Me not talk about real government. We are coming with real changes for Jamaica and see want a real republic out here. We don't want a fake republic. We are gonna let you know all kind of crosses and sadamism in our country and a position on ourselves. If you turn down here in the, in the new Vegas or which one of them country, we will not do nothing and nobody not care. Jamaica not turn into that. Cause God never did make Jamaica for that. And the ancestors never got turn over in that grave. If you don't sit down here and let go the devil down here. Because if you don't think so, I'm always come on for your so talk nice. <laughs> you make a sad mistake. I go at up some soul. I go tap in a son neck. You hear me say, I go do because I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid of the system. You come like a nussy. A year is me not the business here, you know. And I choose this over style and fashion. And, and lick, lick, lick. I choose to burn the system over commercializing my culture. And if I ever go down in a history for that, I'm not about to that pursue nobody. And no. I don't know how to make me run on social media like Lady Sardem. When I see me on social media, I burn me, I burn the system. And I tell Spice them to come join me. Big up yourself, Tanya Stevens, because you take up the struggle. So, I have a big yo, mama. You see what I say? That me I talk about artists when you think about just them pack it and think about the people where the pen pan with it, tell them the truth and tell them we are going to that and can have an understanding all of a sudden our politician have a celebrity. <laughs> we could have got no party for three years straight and one night. Them out a lick, lick, lick and talk, talk, talk. Without mass and a berry. And that alright. That good. Everybody thumbs up with that. And me and the artists, them like myself, who don't have a problem with in a society. And the pastor, them like, pastor chambers. Them. <laughs> and them the people who don't have problem with. Because we are not fifth colonists, you know. I don't try to hear nothing. We walk around with a, um, a microphone and talk from halfway through to Mantico Way. As long as somebody will stand up and hear it. I don't have to go up on the stage. 
we did sacrifice tears when my god grand gala but say no fish in our altar dish me did sacrifice my career when we didn't do that so we don't suppose to see me never did come about career and fan fearing they are real jamaican the original jamaican them we never know slavery they represent the free black african African where they just travel from Africa and could have traveled anywhere we want to go. Richard Curry, don't make me have to tell the people them the truth about what I go on in my account from town. See, we don't just come tell the Jamaica people the truth and make we unite and, and spare the blood. Come tell the people them the truth, man. And the world, I don't stop the Jamaica people for food because we never make them do no education or go in no book. See, all heap of things that they want to need for new Jamaican people. And because when we stand up and say, when we stand up one side and make one hear them dead out. How long shall they kill our prophets? While you stand aside and look. Everybody will come talk for Uno. Uno make them kill them off. And Uno say, boy, Janua. One thing go the man, they just stand up with this truck. Come stand up with me now. We don't know most to say we love them and most to say we have them no back. The vices them where I sacrifice everything to make them know the truth. If we don't see the system I push against we, you know most know say how we have said something where they don't want to hear. Use the common sense something. No. And that's so we have to take it now. Everybody has tried to convince people through social They don't want to call me for nothing. They don't want to interview. They don't want to ask me nothing. You don't know, no, sir. That's why they don't want to ask me nothing. I don't talk to no foreigner, right? I'm a Jamaica people. I talk to. In my language. My original Jamaican language. Where I'm a slave with teach you that I feel with that where we create road here. They might come try to tell me about a language. A language. A theory language. In here. Patwa. I it we used to talk. That's why they used to confuse. They never used to understand the things them way we are saying. So they want to break it down in some holy palico we have some like bossy slave, fever, aspirin, and malatogen. We don't go look up this load files and see what kind of slave them they we have. We can sit on one side and watch Jamaica people and kill up themselves and talk about. They don't want no better, they don't want no better. I all want chunk. Ah, uh, you miss a chang. If you remember, say so you're a Chinese man in a sir. So I don't know how you feel about know black people and how to solve black people problems when you're a Chinese man. If the whole of the youth, them, you know, you know, call the youth them adolescents when they have no guidance, and just gangsta and them feel dead and them feel kill out and them feel. You understand? You know, you know, just low, you know, no? Low, low, you know, low, you know, man. Give you a break now, man. Give Jamaica people a break. You know, too wicked. You know, too wicked to Jamaican people. You know, little people love chat up on them out about you know, love Jamaica. You know, found no happy because you know, found a pedophile and some holy person sitting, some predator. We have benefit off of the weakness of Jamaican people. So, you no know, want this is you no know, betterment because you know, want to set up shop down here. I don't know if you have a little Kevin Simit quarters over this one. I don't know if that the quarters over this one. I don't know if that the quarters over this one. And turn Jamaica people in a sheep. A sheep, them are turning in a Jamaica people. Sheep. Stop making them feed, you know, start plant food. If you know, things are paradise, don't you feel it? Watch and see if I'm a slave. The whole way are turning a slave. I may tell you, I'm a born free. And if I have to live so bad in, it, in a Jamaica, I'm not living here. And me never, not even Africa, me the plant to go over live. A Jamaica, me the plant to stay. All my life. And when we look and see, say, we sit down and are reduced to this. And it coming like it's the other the day while some vulture. But they are know the truth. Just sit down and wait until we are born, crawl up our belly. At that time, they will come and say, All right, so I'm courage with you. Come follow me now. Get up, stand up. Stand up for your right. Hey, you don't know say Bob Marley them family not even they come from Jamaica and them come and come fight so hard for it. Bob Marley mother come from Cuba, you know. Rita come from Cuba, you know. Bob Marley father come from England, you know. And Bob Marley born here and decide say he might go fight for Jamaica, you know. 
Oh, I go on. All these strangers are going to fight for me. We can't fight for myself at no point in our life. And now we set the trend to fight for ourselves. And we decide, say, we now go be no subordinate to the colonial system that they have to cut a deal with. You see, all the maroon them too. So, hey, the bad maroon them to get called out, you know, because some good maroon dead, dead. But some bad maroon dead, dead, you know. Some bad maroon dead, dead. And enough of them have benefit off of that sell out there with 1738. Who dead dear ya? I know the Jamaican them we are dead. They know the Jamaican. You know, long me ask you know which Jamaican them they are dead. Who oh, ever talk the story how it go? Who <laughs> oh, went talk the story how it go? Me I left the live yeah in a week missing you know, and that me I do you know cause me see where I go and boy yeah, you know. I want to go look up Thomas Tislewood files. I want to go study the 1738 treaty upon the Harvard University site. Black people sit down with no family, Jamaican people sit down with no family and go through the Thomas Tislewood diaries and go through the 1738 treaty. Break it down for yourself with no family then. And it will help you to understand the disunity that is happening in Jamaica that no one can explain, but everybody know it. But there's a secret that is being kept against us as a people. The reason why we are divided. There are entities among us that know the true story. The maroon them know the true story. They call the rest of Jamaica Jamaicans. How you justify that? Make we get smart. Make we get united. Make we fix the country how we used to in the olden days by ourselves with unity. Make we get rid of the middle people. Then we no mean, we no well. Me go bombard on me go turn on back the IG page. Me go bombard on me go find ways to get to the Jamaican people. We need. Take back a country.